Reynolds. My name is Tommy Reynolds. I'm a portrait and commercial photographer, and I'm also a travel photographer as well. I'm here today to talk to you about dramatic on-location lighting. And we're going to be talking specifically about two products in particular. And that's the Lion 580 ETTL flash gun and the hybrid uh, 360 ETTL, which is kind of like the Schwarzenegger version of a of speed light. It's kind of like a bigger version of it. Uh, the reason why I want to talk to you specifically about these two is because these, both these products are both portable and light, uh, and light and reliable and it's really important for me in my line of work. And to give you a bit of background of, uh, of what I actually shoot, so I do a lot of commercial work with Sony, uh, with Psycho Entertainment, with Universal Music. So I do a lot of work working with uh, bands and artists and musicians on location. So for me, I need portable and reliable gear and that's why I use the 580 ETTL or the hybrid. In conjunction with that, I also use the QuickBox PixPro uh, 70 centimeter collapsible softbox. So this is the exact gear that I will use on location when I'm shooting uh, clients, and, and that's whether that's abroad, uh, whether that's just down the road. And because that, and it needs to be portable, because if I am going abroad, I need that to fit all in my camera bag. So I can have a complete lighting system in my camera bag because I don't really want anything going in the hold in the, uh, in the airport. I want to keep it all within my camera bag so that it's all in one, including this, so because it all collapses down, which we'll see a little bit later on. So the reason why I love this little flash gun and what's great about it is this actually runs on a lithium rechargeable battery which won best uh, flash gun of the year last year. We're actually picking up our award later on for this flash gun. And the, what's good about choosing a rechargeable battery over a traditional AA battery, so your flash gun traditionally has probably four AA batteries in it, but this is a lithium rechargeable one that has the capacity of 12 AA batteries. So for whatever photography you do, if you're a wedding photographer, or if you're a commercial portrait photographer, or an event photographer, this is gonna last you all day, 12 AA batteries. The recycle time on this is between 0.5 to five, four and a half seconds. So if you're at full power, this will last you 650 shots at full power, which is amazing. And what's great about it also, and why, What's good again about it being a lithium rechargeable battery is that as you're in your traditional flash guns, as the battery is kind of dying, usually that recycle time kind of gets longer and longer and longer and it really throws you off your game if you're shooting outdoors. But what's good about this is the recycle time does not increase as the battery life diminishes. It stays at the time until it dies, which is a great, great feature. So I'm gonna be put, I'm gonna put this on the softbox now and we're gonna take some shots and see what kind of results we get with this super portable system. So for a lot of what I do, I am pretty much only use one light and maybe a reflector on top of that. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I would do on location. Uh, another good reason why I like both of these systems is they both support high speed sync. So all, uh, both of them have the traditional uh, they have the traditional modes that you would expect on flash guns. They have got multi-burst mode, they have uh, manual mode, but they also both support ETTL. So if you have already an existing Nikon flash or a Canon flash, you can use that to trigger um, as the master, the slave of these flash guns or this hybrid, and it will transfer that ETTL information wirelessly. Or if you didn't want to do that, you can pick up a transmitter and receiver that we also sell, which also can, uh, sends that ETTO information wirelessly also. But another great feature that I love is I, I love using the high speed sync mode because again, when I'm outdoors, I need to be able to kill that ambient light. I need to be able to drag that down because on the flash guns and on traditional studio strobes, unless you have flagship models, you can only, you, you're restricted to your flash sync speed, aren't you? You can't go above 160, 200, 250th of a second uh, of shutter speed. So that usually means you have to crank your aperture up to about f8, which isn't great because you know you don't get a shallow depth of field. So what's great is you can do high speed sync on these. So you can shoot upwards of one eight thousandth of a second, which is plenty of room to kill 
that ambient light if you're shooting in the direct sunlight. So I've recently just got back from Sri Lanka where I was doing some work out there with a charity and I used the hybrid system and I, need, and I chose the hybrid system over the flash gun because obviously this is a lot more powerful because this is running from a battery pack. This hybrid system takes a, about 450 shots at full power but this full power is a lot better obviously than the speed light and you stand more chance of killing that ambient exposure with this. So this is kind of like the big brother of that. So that's, it's great again for events and all sorts and weddings, but this is again portable and still fits in my camera bag when I'm going abroad, as well as that is. So we're gonna take some photos and see what we get. Um, let's take that down for first, yeah. yeah. But one of the things I also like to do is I like to make it dramatic as well. So I'm going to shoot at about 1 60th of a second just to kill the ambient light in here and to create something similar to what we were shooting here yesterday. But we're going to fire it off so you can see what it looks like today. Okay, looking this way. That's really cool. Head tilt this way for me. Kind of tilt this way. That's it, but head looking this way for me. That's it. That's it. Chin up for me. Okay, just wait for those to come through. I'm going to dial my ISO down one notch so I can get that a little bit more dramatic. And I can even just come over a little bit more and make it even more dramatic because of the angle of it. So I'm going to come pretty much quite side on for this next shot. <laughs> so if you look over here, it's, it's, the colours are a little bit better on my laptop, but this will obviously give you an idea. So you can see just with one light, you can create a really dramatic look. And if uh, combined with our Pixar Pro backdrop here, if you're an event photographer or if you do headshots, you can walk into any corporate business and create this really cool, dramatic, professional looking setup with only one light. And with my sh shutter speed set to 160, I'm killing this ambient in the room and pretty much lighting with only just my, with my flash gun. Just a flash gun and just this portable softbox and they get a really, really cool result. Uh, at the most, I will do, I will use a reflector as well. So I'm gonna try one with a reflector as well. I'm gonna need a volunteer to come and be my assistant for a moment. Who wants to be my volunteer? Oh, go on, Chris, go on then. So if you are lucky to have an assistant um, with you, even for weddings, this is great as well. So when I do the occasional wedding, I will have an assistant with me. So I might have this on the light stand and then I might have an assistant with me holding a reflector as well. It's just so that I can fill in some of that shadowy area on the right side if I didn't want it as dramatic as well. So again, super simple because again, this can fold away in my laptop, in my, in my camera bag. So I only carry portable gear. So Chris, if you wouldn't mind, fill in the, the shadows for me and we're going to just take another one and we can kind of see it before and after so kind of swing this way a bit like we did it just in the last shot here that's it a little bit close for me Chris there you go yeah. okay so in a moment we're going to see kind of a before and after so this is our before and after I'm going to just cycle through that see if you can see the difference there so that's, you can see the shadowy area on the right side and then when we flip, it just adds that tiny bit of feel and it kind of creates that really nice two to one ratio that I really like. I don't really like to light it flat because there's no kind of real drama there because I like, to, I like to light really dramatically. And I can go really dramatic, thank you Chris, I can go really dramatic if I turn this really side on and go really side on here. Turn head more this way for me. That's it. That's it. Kind of looking towards the light for me. That's it. Chin up for me. Okay, so in a moment, we've gone from like a uh, still dramatic but kind of nice soft, and we go for a real dramatic look. It's just down to personal preference. All I'm doing is changing the angle of this light. I've not changed any settings on my camera yet. It's all about the lighting, the, the, uh, the angle of light, and how it relates to the camera. So I can come really close on I can almost be towering above Kiana and get more of a whoops and get more of a kind of a kind of it just fills in the fills in the face a little bit more and makes it 
It's th this is good for this is good for weddings. So if you want to do like a bit of a close up, you can even do a clamshell lighting if you've ever done that. So uh, Chris, can I borrow you a sec again? So one other thing that's also really popular when you're doing weddings is clamshell lighting. So that's where you would have one light above and then fill in the shadows underneath. And it's called clamshell because we're literally clamming the, uh, the model in our light here to kind of create. And this is great for headshots as well if you want to do it a little bit closer. So I've been kind of going medium up until now. So I'm going to go a little bit closer in so that we can see. Yeah, that's cool. A little, a little bit higher. Just turn a bit of an angle, give me a bit of an angle. That's it, looking this way, that's it. Cool. Again, just one light and you're getting a really cool dramatic, almost like a cinematic effect, isn't it? It's like, and you get that really nice fill in. So we can see that Chris just lifted it a little bit higher. So if you want to just increase that look, that fill just move it a little bit closer if you are in direct sunlight it may be best to use the white side because the silver might be a little bit too harsh so the white's always great for for when you're in direct sunlight and the silver's better if it's kind of more of a cloudy day cheers Chris thank you um, but often when I'm outdoors and why I like to shoot outdoors because obviously you've got you've got the world is your oyster you can uh, you can use your sun as a backlight sometimes it can also be a bit Chris, sorry. <laughs> you just stand here. So what's also cool is uh, sometimes it can be a windy day. So we're going to try and emulate what a windy, uh, how, how introducing wind is going to create some really cool dramatic effects combined with our dramatic lighting setup. Chris, would you mind uh, doing the honors? I think the power is just there. We've not even tested this. I have no idea <laughs> how well this is going to look, but we'll give it a go anyway. Kind of, yeah. Let's try standing up for this one. Okay, Chris, we're going to kind of go a little bit more side on. So, Ryan, where were you, man? Ah, you, you missed out, you missed out. Chris is my number one fan now. Okay, Chris, we kind of just want to go side on, kind of. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go for a more of a dramatic here. And we're going to kind of... We're going to kind of hands up here, so you kind of keep waving it out. You're going to just keep playing with the hair for me, and we're going to hopefully create some really dramatic effects. No idea if this will work. Just kind of head and shoulders. Let's give it a go, all right? That's cool. That's it. Just keep playing around like that. We're just going to keep firing. With this sort of thing, it's kind of, you just keep firing until you get something that kind of works well. That's it. Really, really nice. Really cool. Okay, thank you, Chris, for now. All right, let's just have a look at those. It's going to be a hit and miss with this sort of thing, but this combined with our... <laughs> but this combined with our dramatic lighting setup, we can create some really cool effects. We're just waiting for them all to just kind of tether in now. And we just see what kind of effect we were getting there. <laughs> That looks pretty cool. <laughs> That's a proper windswept look there, isn't it? But let's try that one more time. Let's have one more round and I'm gonna angle the light a little bit more so that we uh, make this even more dramatic. Dramatic windswept. And your keyword is just to kind of fidget. Every time, every time you hear the shutter click, just kind of change it up every time. Again, I'm only lighting this with just one light, and this is my go-to because it's so simple, portable, I can move it around whenever I need to. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go, Kiana. Okay. Kind of lean in just a little bit towards me. I'm gonna kind of feather it a little bit. Okay, that's it, cool. Just every time you hear the shower, just wait to just fidget it up every time. Just kind of just give me something different every time. That's it. And then try, try somewhere you're not looking directly at the camera, kind of looking down towards this way. That's it. That's it, kind of look, looking down. 
and then kind of towards me. So head towards me, but kind of looking just off. So head and sh so shoulders towards me. Lovely. And get a little bit closer. That's it. Keep rocking, mate. There you go. Really, really nice. Just a few more like that. That's it. And just kind of looking off, off center. That's it. And then eyes to me. Cool. All right. We'll see how those look. Thank you, Chris. Again, with this sort of thing, it's kind of a hit and miss. It's, well done, Chris. It's a, it's a hard job, isn't it, Chris? <laughs> That's really cool. I think it looks really good. I think it looks really cool. So again, we kind of push that light off so we can get it a bit more dramatic. It's kind of like, my go-to kind of ratio is kind of like a 45-45. So 45 degrees this way, 45 degrees this way, and you get that nice kind of highlight and shadow ratio. If you kind of go front on, then it looks a bit flat, like you're on camera flash, you don't want that. Always want to get your flash, or get your light, sorry, off of camera so you can create a dramatic effect. There's no way you're gonna create it when it's on your camera. So you always want to try and get it off. So if I take this, uh, flash head off this so this is a softbox it's got an outer and an inner diffuser if you want to make it more harsh just take this off sometimes I've done that when I needed to when I needed more power because obviously the diffusion is going to kind of diminish that power a little bit so just kind of rip that off but in terms of the uh, portability of it if I need to if I finish my shoot and I want to move on to the next I just put it down here press it here hold up and put that straight in my bag and I'm ready to go down the street in Sri Lanka, ready to go to my next client and I'm good to go. Just whack that straight back on there and I'm good to go. It's on, it's on offer of, um, over here at the moment. Um, if you are interested, then uh, come and see me or the rest of the team if you are interested in our portable softbox here. Um, we've got it, we've got the Hydro 360 as well down here, which is the uh, big brother version of a speed light, as I said earlier. So it's gonna obviously give you more power than than the speed light wheel. So this is more for kind of out, uh, outdoor, if, it's, if the ambient light outdoors is really sunny, like middle of the day, um, otherwise the speed light's good as well. And as I said, it won best flash of the year last year. Um, that's about it from me. If you wanna come and see me or the rest of the team, uh, please let us know. Thank you very much for listening.